I consider myself a prankster. I've been called a prankster or a comedian in the classical sense, which for example could relate to high standards of Will Ferrell or Jim Carrey because they both have made huge impacts in the field of comedy. Really I'm just a normal guy who likes being funny and likes the aspects that revolve around comedy just like any other person. Uh, being in public really helps me study the way people react to certain things and what makes them laugh. I wanted to make a contribution to comedy by giving people another reason to laugh every day. Honestly, didn't plan on having anything big happen, but just wanted to do something that somebody wouldn't do, or hadn't done for that matter. Pranking, there's a lot to it actually. A lot of people just think like, oh, I'll just grab a camera and I'll go out and prank my friends. But in reality, pranking comes with a lot of good planning. We have to plan out everything we're gonna do from start A to start B. And I didn't even know what pranking was until I actually looked into it by searching videos on YouTube and maybe I could do these videos my own Gangnam style. So pranking basically is when you go out into public and you do something to or by someone to generate some sort of reaction, either good or bad. It's usually done with some sort of hidden camera or small device that you hide within the cart or wherever you want to hide it. Uh, 15C, take one. And action. <laughs> How much is that? Uh, all right, cut. Uh, a little out of character on that one, but uh, there we go. Do a little bit more enthusiasm next time. I think we'll be good to go on the on this scene. All right, 15C, take two. Action. Why is this $100? That is perfect, thank you there so you much. That is what I was looking for. <laughs> of course, with every good video, there is the chance of failure. Actually, there's a very good chance of failure when it comes to pranks. Action. All right, cut. All right, back to one. That was really good, guys. We're gonna try it again, get a safety take. Guys, and what do you do when you fail? You get up and try it again. Especially when Walmart says, no, you have to go. You say, fine, I'll be back later. And that's what you do. You don't give up. Hi, uh, yeah, uh, 2B take one, and action. <laughs> what are you trying to do? All right, cut. Um, actually, the dialogue in this scene is yummy. That soda was really good. So if we could redo that. A take two and action. <laughs> I waited for my wife to decide what kind of toy she wants for my grandson. Oh, yeah. Okay, but the line was yummy. I bought a soda and it was really good. So if we could... <laughs> <laughs> we don't know where it came from or what it's related to, but it seemed to gain a lot of positive attention when looked at from a viewer's perspective. From there we saw through many trial and error experiences that many people didn't have a good sense of humor and because of this we learned that we need to laugh a little more and uh, live life without worrying about the little things, which helped develop our YouTube channel into what it is now. And this is where our story begins. <laughs>